everyone welcome to join my channel Netflix. in this video i am going to explain a very important topic of your laravel that is facades so uh, laravel facades are the very important part of your laravel as uh, this facilitates your uh, you can say a static interference to your classes so uh, I need to uh, like give you some examples like we have uh, many inbuilt facades in your Laravel. For example, we have a DB facades uh, by which you can just like uh, call your uh, this uh, tables uh, with the help of queries and you can just fetch your data from the table. You have a auth facades that facilitates your login panel. You have addition facades so uh, there are multiple you have a cookie facade so there are a lot of facades that are available in the laravel and you are using while you are uh, implementing your project work so uh, let's create a custom facades how you can create a custom facades into your laravel so moving to this part uh, first of all we need to create a folder so for that i have to create a folder into my app directory uh, I will be naming it as my custom libraries libraries so this is my folder uh, my custom libraries so in this my custom libraries we are going to create uh, two files uh, like the facade files so for that I have to create uh, like a new file so here I am going to write my facades that I am going to create so for that I have to specify the namespace that is app so my custom libraries and uh, I need to specify here uh, like illuminate support facades and facade so I'm going to save this in my custom in this app folder and in the app folder there is a my custom library folder so I need to just open this and I need to save it here as user facade dot php so I'm going to create a class that is user facade uh, that is going to extend my base file uh, that is facade and now i'm going to say here as i'm going to create a protected function protected as well as a static function that is also an inbuilt function that is get facade accessor so uh, this is an inbuilt function which will return a file that i'm going to mention over here so it is going to return a file uh, that is users so semicolon so this is basically your uh, I have created a base file of user facades.php in which I have created a class user facade that is going to extend a facade that is also an inbuilt file and that is mandatory so in this also I have created a protective static function that is get facade assessor and this is a particular name of that uh, of that function and you have to like uh, create with this name only so this name function is to be created and in that function uh, i have i'm going to return a file that is users.php that i'm going to create it, create over here so in this uh, i'm going to say as i'm going to save this into my my custom libraries with the with the name as users.php that I am going to like written over here. So in this users.php, uh, first of all, I need to specify in my namespace that is app and my custom libraries. 
because that is the function that is the folder name that I have been created. So here I am going to create a class as class users and in this class users I am going to create a function with my name and I can say here uh, echo John we can just create a John function a, a John we can just uh, like we have displayed a John in this my my name function and uh, I'm going to create a static function public static function display in which I'm going to say that echo display data so I have created a two function in my users class uh, that has been saved into your my custom libraries along with user facade.php uh, the my name function and the display function so my name function is going to display me the john uh, and the display function is going to echo me the display data so uh, in this way you can just create uh, your basic files for facade so having a quick view that i have created a my custom folder in this uh, this app folder and this app folder i have created two files with user facade.php and uh, in which uh, which class it will be running and calling i have created that particular file here so uh, there is one very important part into your facades that whenever you are creating your facades you need to mention that particular facade in your app.php file so we need to open this app.php app.php is being available into your in your this config folder so in this config folder i have to just open my app.php i'm going to like add an entry of my facade in this alysis array so here in last i need to create a uh, you can say uh, any variable uh, we can say here as vi is a variable that i am going to create over here so uh, this will be referring to my this app folder and in this app folder I have created my custom libraries folder and in this my custom libraries I have a file named user facades user facade because it's not s it's the s is uh, s has not been there so user facade and the class because uh, like so I have created a new VI name of my facades that is going to refer my this user facade that I have created into my my custom libraries folder and that path I have also been mentioned here. Yeah. So now it's a turn of uh, this route.php. So I need to configure my route. So moving to my web.php, I need to create a route over here. So route uh, we can say here as get i have created a route with the name facades that is going to call a function and that function will be calling my uh, the name of that particular facade i have given the name as vi so i need to call as vi and with the help of vi i am going to call my functions that is i have a function name my name so i'm going to call this function as uh, my name and is my capital so here i have just called so whenever i'm going to pick up a url as facade it is calling a vi facade and with the help of vi i have called i have called a my name custom function that is I have, that i have created in my facade file so let's see that whether it's been running or not so here I'm going to say as facade, uh, I think the URL is the same. So it's facade, so S. So if I'm going to refresh this, uh, it's giving me some error in the web.phpi 41 number line. So here I have not like put up a semicolon over here. So let's run this. So here my, uh, the name John has been displayed. So uh, the, in this way, you can just implement your facades uh, like uh, as well as uh, when you call an inbuilt facade as cookie or then the auth. 
So in this way, we have created our own facades, like the user facades. Then we have created a user file that contains your function that is to be called. And in the app.php, uh, in the config folder, we have just named our facades as vi, and that vi will be calling your user facades file that is being created into your my custom library folder. And in the web.php, we have uh, like uh, we have a route uh, that is uh, facades route uh, that is going to call an facade and with the help of facade i have called a function as my name so my name is being displaying the john so john is being displayed so this was all about uh, creating a custom facades and la la voila. i hope you like my video so if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and just like and share my videos thanks for watching my video